take a look at Bernoulli's inequality and how do we prove this by mathematical induction so so what mathematical induction is I'm not gonna get too deep into that as I talked about it in my last video if you'd like to check it out but let's get started right so let's just rewind what is the two condition that needs to be met the first condition is that let's use red pen p1 is true and the second condition is that pk implies pk plus one so we want to make sure uh, we want to try to prove that these two are true right so let's let's look at the base case which is p1 so what is p1 in this case well our inequality is well let's write p1 is is um one plus x one right it starts at one because n is a natural number it starts at one is bigger then or equal to 1 plus 1 times x, right? We just replace the n with 1, right? Because that's the base case. That's the smallest natural number. That's what you would start with, right? So in this case, you can clearly see that p1 is valid because this is this is essentially 1 plus x. And that this is essentially 1 plus x as well, right? So this statement is true, right? Because 1 plus x is, is bigger or equal to 1 plus x. In this case, it's equal to each other. But so definitely the base case is true. So let's look at look at the, our induction hypothesis, which is the PK true PK case, right? So what would that be? That would be one plus x k is bigger than one plus k x, right? This is our assumption, right? This is our PK. This is PK. And what is our PK plus one? Our PK plus one is one plus x k plus 1 bigger than equal to 1 plus k plus 1 x this is p k plus 1 right and this is what we're trying to show this this is this is what we're trying to show we're trying to show that 1 plus x to the power of k plus 1 is bigger or equal to 1 plus k plus 1 x and what we know is our assumption is that 1 plus x to the power of k is bigger than you are equal to 1 plus kx that's what we know so so this is really important and prove that i just want to i just want to write this down so this is assumption this is one to show so this the assumption is what we know so let's get started well let's take a look at 1 plus 1 plus x let's move this down right Look at take a look at one plus x to the power of k plus one. So you learn in algebra class that this can be written. This is equal as one plus x raised to the power of k times one plus x raised to the power of one, which is one plus x, right? And we know that this is um if you look at our assumption, our assumption says that. 1 plus, 1 plus x to raised to the power of k is bigger than 1 plus kx. So, so look at this whole inequality. You can say that this is bigger than or equal to 1 plus kx times 1 plus x, right? We just replace 1 plus x raised to the power of k with 1 plus kx. Because part of our assumption is that 1 plus x to raised to the power of k is bigger or equal to 1 plus kx. So this is definitely true, right? Because this is literally our assumption. We're using our induction hypothesis as our part of our proof, right? So we know that this is bigger than um, this whole chunk right here. And if you simplify this part, this just becomes... I'm not... Uh, I already did the algebra, but this is just going to become 1 plus kx plus x plus kx squared, right? And if you look at this, right? This can be further simplified. If we, if we take x out of kx and x, it will give us uh, 1 plus um, x k plus 1 plus kx squared. And then this is what we wanted this, at this whole time is that we want this expression of 1 plus x um, times k plus 1, right? Because this is what we want to prove. And we show that this, well, we know that this is um, bigger. This has to be. Let's rewrite this expression. So this expression, 1 plus k x times, times k plus 1 plus k x squared 
has to be bigger or equal to 1 plus x times k plus 1, right? Because there's additional k and x squared, right? Like we said that, well, our assumption is that x, although x could be a negative 1, because our assumption is that it's bigger or equal to negative 1. It could be negative 1, but look what we have here is x squared. If you square any real number x, it's always going to give you a positive number. And we also know that k is positive as well. So we have a positive number here, or it could be 0, maybe. But if it's 0, this inequality work as well. If it's positive, this inequality will be bigger than 1 plus x times k plus 1. Right? So, so this whole expression is bigger or equal to 1 plus x times k plus 1. And this is what we wanted to prove in the first place. Because if you look at back to our, our um, what we wanted to show, this is what we wanted to show. These two are the same. So we kind of, so let's summarize what happened, okay? So it makes it more clear. We start with 1 plus x k plus 1. Then we do a bunch of blah, 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 and use our induction hypothesis, use some algebra. We show that this is essentially bigger than or bigger or equal to this, right? So this is bigger than equal to this. And that that is bigger than equal to our what we wanted to prove in the first place, which is 1 plus x times k plus 1, right? So our proof is completed. We start with 1 plus x raised to the power of k plus 1, then we do a, do a bunch of stuff, blah, 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 induction hypothesis, and all that. And at the end, we successfully show that it is indeed bigger or equal to um, 1 plus x times k plus 1. So our proof is completed right here. So so um, I like to do a little, like, it's, all, it's like, it's one of the strategy I do when I do proof is that I always like to do, like, some, like, summarization after I completed a proof. Well, and our summarization is that we prove first proof that the base case is true, which is P1, right? Then um, we assume that PK is true, which we wrote out our expression. Our assumption here is our PK. And then we, I write, also write down what I want to show, which is PK plus 1, and how that would be put in an expression, which is, which is also written like here. And then I use what I know, which is our, my assumption. It helped me in this step, of course, that I know that 1 plus x raised to the power of k is bigger or equal to 1 plus kx. And that is the reason why I can replace it, right? So I use my induction hypothesis and I start with what I wanted to show to, to sh eventually show that this inequality here is essentially bigger than this inequality here, right? So 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 what I did at the end is that is that I, I, sh I use my assumption and I, I show what I wanted to show, and the proof is completed. And then that's how you prove the Bernoulli um, inequality. And this is my second video of example on mathematical induction. I'm going to make more in the future. So if you like this video, please subscribe.